So, as you probably may, but also may not know, the actual story mode for Project Arrhythmia isn't done yet. The only reason I know the stuff in this video is because of the channel in the official Discord that talks about story spoilers that many people avoid, but I don't avoid because I don't care. That being said, if you don't want to be spoiled about PA's actual storyline, click off the video because there's going to be a lot of spoilers. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what we know of the story so far, which is a lot of the story. I'm guessing like 70% of the general plot is out there already, so just go in and start talking about shut. So Blackheart began and... <laughs> I'm, j I'm just kidding. Here, here's the actual story. In the year 2050, I think, a bioweapon that would later be named the Tokyo Flu is being developed by the Japanese government. So, of course, one day a bunch of terrorists politely steal the bioweapon with the intent of using it to wipe out humanity, because apparently they thought humans were bad for the earth or something and wanted them all dead. They were able to manipulate the virus and make it more deadly before they finally released it into the world, and tried to accelerate the spread any way they could, including traveling to heavily populated areas and infecting themselves with the flu. The flu spreads across the world with a 100% mortality rate. Everyone is dying, there's world panic, and eventually different projects start appearing around the globe trying to find a cure for it. And one of those projects is Project Arrhythmia, which is also like the title of the game. Project Arrhythmia had many scientists dedicated to finding a cure for the Tokyo flu. Among those scientists was Till Schroeder, who was a guy in a lab coat. His daughter, however, Till had a something-year-old daughter named Anna Schroeder, who was the character in all those Discord server emotes. The scientists' main strategy to finding a cure was via a supercomputer that would train different groups of nanobots to fight the flu. It trains them by guiding the nanobots through simulations of the flu. These simulations are the levels in the game. When you play a level, you are essentially playing as an extension of the supercomputer, and you are guiding the nanobots, which are your lives. The game itself revolves around guiding the nanobots through a simulation, a level that would, in theory, if you do well at the level, train the nanobots to fight the flu. Anyway, remember Anna Schroeder? She gets the flu. So her dad, seeing no other options and being the portal fanboy he was, secretly uploads Anna's intelligence to the same supercomputer built for finding a cure so he could keep her alive. But he puts it in like a closed off section of the supercomputer that no one else knows about. Sometime later, the supercomputer has still been working hard at finding a cure for the flu. The data it's collected is taking up a lot of storage space, so it's thinking, hmm, how can I free up more space? Oh, a completely separate, unmarked section of the computer. Time to free this up. When it does, it finds Anna's digital consciousness, or at least what's left of it, and inadvertently merges some of its own code with Anna's. This causes Anna to fragment across the entire network of machines in Project Arrhythmia. And no one said I had to understand every aspect of the story. This fragmentation, or whatever the hell happened, causes Anna, or her digital consciousness anyway, to not remember who she is or how she got here. But she still retains her personality, which is an anime girl. The two of them decide to team up to get the rest of Anna's memories back, and to find the cure in the process. Along the way, Anna, who forgot her name, adopts the name Atan, because somehow it was the only clue they had to her name when they looked through her personal file, which was corrupted or something. Apparently, it's also a reference to whatever this is. Atan in the computer is represented as this face made out of ASCII characters. Atan decides to name the supercomputer HAL after HAL 9000 from 2001 A Space Odyssey. The game has this website containing some official logs where the two are talking, as well as some other logs that are cryptic as hell. We don't know what any of the official levels will look like yet, but we do know that we encounter four bosses throughout the game. Para, this angry blue circle, Hebi, who is some kind of worm, Torai, a triangle thing, and Hashi, who is kind of a mystery. Each of these bosses corresponds with a real-life virus and I went ahead and forgot the names of all of them. That's the general plot of Project Arrhythmia, but we also kind of know how it ends. If you don't want to know how it ends, click off. Okay, right now we have no idea what happens to Anna's consciousness, but besides that, the ending you get depends on how well you do in the game. The cure is eventually found, but surprise, everyone's dead. But if you do well at the game, you can defrost some probably alive humans from the freezer and civilization will just rework itself out from there because of course it will. The end. Just so you know, this is not the entire plot. This is just what we know of it so far. If you want to know more, you can go to that website with the story logs I mentioned earlier and you can also join the Discord and read the channel that's completely dedicated to story talk. Both links are going to be in the description. I'm really looking forward to story mode and seeing how the levels play out, and I don't even mind the fact that I'm definitely not going to do very well at any of them because I am garbage at this game, but 
I'm excited to see what six years of work is going to amount to. I don't have an outro. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube.com.